Hi, I'm Chris Robinera, licensed marriage and family therapist and behavioral health specialist at Sure Health. You may remember me from the video when we discuss the new normal. At Sure Health, your physical health, emotional health, and social health are important to us. Recently, I had the opportunity to talk with parents about how to have a conversation with their child about the coronavirus. Some parents are struggling, many don't know where to start, and a few just feel lost. But don't fret, your boy Chris got you. My hope is that when you are finished watching this video, you will have the tools needed to have a thorough conversation about the coronavirus with your child. Here is a quick overview of how this conversation could look. You let your child guide you. Ask what they know and how they are feeling. You provide factual information and emotional support. Before you start the conversation with your kid, self-reflect. You should do this because a child is like a sponge. They soak up anything around it, good and bad. A child will take cues from their parents by watching carefully how they behave and how they react. You know what I'm talking about, parents. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You are the ultimate role model for your child. With that in mind, I want you to do some self-reflection. You need to be aware of your emotions and behaviors. The way that you talk about the coronavirus can either increase or decrease your child's feelings of anxiety or fear. Set a calm and reassuring tone. When you ask your child what they've heard and know about the coronavirus, slow down and listen. Let your child talk. You need a clear understanding of your child's knowledge. Once your child is finished, correct any false information. Talk to your child about factual disease information. There is a lot of false information or fake news floating around the interwebs. As the saying goes, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Get your facts from reliable and credible sources. These include the Centers for Disease Control, the National Institute of Health, the Department of Health and Human Services, our award-winning primary care providers, as well as our website at sure.org. Ensure you are getting facts from reliable and credible sources. Be sure to keep your explanations age appropriate. You aren't going to be talking to a four-year-old about how the coronavirus needs to infect a host cell to produce ribonucleic acid and proteins. One too many big words there, buddy. As a general rule, younger children require brief and simple information. They need simple facts with reassurance that you will be there to keep them healthy and take care of them if they get sick. For more mature children, they might be more vocal in asking questions, have a deeper understanding, and may need help to separate fact from fiction. An example of explaining the coronavirus to a younger child would be this. The coronavirus is a newly found virus. It causes a disease called COVID-19. A lot of people got sick and might have a cough, a temperature of more than 100 degrees, and have a hard time breathing. Most people who have gotten sick have had a light case. Not a lot of kids get the virus. And those that did, it wasn't that bad. A great comic to explain the coronavirus to kids can be found at sure.org slash virus. Be sure to also talk about what we can do to stay healthy. Talk about hygiene practices and social distance. Talk about washing your hands before they eat or drink, after they go to the bathroom, and after sneezing. Talk about how they could sing the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star which is about 20 seconds, or for the older kids, a little bit longer than a TikTok video. For those of you with little ones, PBS Kids has a Daniel Tiger video, as well as Elmo, about hand washing. Also from Sesame Street, Elmo and Rosita show children the right way to sneeze. <gasps> for social distancing, some children don't understand why parents aren't allowing them to be with friends. Explain what social distancing is and why we are doing it. Social distancing means staying away from others 
until the risk of getting the coronavirus is under control. For older children, show them charts and infographics about flattening the curve will help them gain a better understanding. Explain that while we don't know how long it will take to flatten the curve, what we do know is that it's a critical time and we all need to do our part by following the guidelines of health experts. Now, ask them how are they feeling? Children are experiencing a full range of emotions right now, just like you are, and that's okay. It's normal. A problem that could happen is that children, and you too, may not express their emotions in a socially acceptable manner. There is a difference between the way you feel and the way you express those feelings. This may be a wonderful time for you to teach your child coping skills to handle their emotions. When you ask your child how they're feeling, do not minimize their feelings and concerns. Saying things like, don't worry about it, or you're just a kid and these are adult problems will not help your child. Acknowledge your child's emotions. Validate their feelings and concerns. Name those emotions for your child if they can't. Teach your child that emotions are healthy and normal. Here is an example. Landon, it sounds like you are worried about catching the coronavirus. Lots of kids feel the same way you do. I hear you. What we can do to stay healthy is practice social distancing and washing our hands. We also have doctors and scientists figuring out ways to keep healthy. And one more thing, when having a conversation with your child, you don't need to have all the answers. You can still listen and be supportive. If you don't know the answer, be honest and straightforward. You can say, I don't know the answer to that, but we can try to find out. Let's look it up together. In summary, know how you feel about the coronavirus before you have a conversation with your kids about it. Create a calm and reassuring tone. Start the conversation by asking the child what they know about the coronavirus. Clear up any false information with facts from reliable sources. And finally, ask how they are feeling. Provide emotional support and acknowledge your child's experience of the world. Have a conversation with your child like this and you will build a stronger relationship. For all the latest information, go to sure.org slash virus.